welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be explaining my unsearched dmi diamond ore from the crater diamonds this is the material that i have gathered and i have worked through my classifiers and then i made centers with my gemstone concentrator to get the heavy minerals gathered up and then i put them in these bags simple as that i did not do the final step in getting our diamonds that is going over your material on a pizza pan or a cookie sheet any regular will tell you that's how we get the small diamonds that are normally under seven points sometimes a, a three point could be visible on your center but when you have lots of heavy minerals and your bullseyes like that instead of like that you know if your bullseye is the size of a quarter you could probably see your little two point diamond but if you got bullseyes and centers that are huge those small diamonds are going to get trapped and covered up and how us regulars get those two points and three points and four point diamonds if we take all this material let's go ahead and open up a bag this bag is just a regular bag anybody on ebay or patreons could receive and the final step in working your material is right here which i did not do i am not worried about small diamonds anymore when i first started going to the crater of diamonds my bottom classifier was smaller than anybody else's it was a number 18 i was catching almost sand i wanted every single diamond the last two years I don't want every single diamond. I'm looking for diamonds that are going to be visible on my center. I will then scoop it out with my spoon. If I don't see anything else, I scoop that material up and I bag it up for my Patreons and my eBay supporters because not everybody gets to go to the diamond mine. Not everybody lives close to the diamond mine. I want to bring that experience to their front door in these bags of pay dirt that i made so the final step is this right here you pour a little bit out on the pan and that could be too much and then you do this Ooh, look at that nice quartz crystal so you spread all the material out on your cookie sheet or pizza pan i like a pizza pan because i can now rotate it and hit every angle of the rocks really helping that diamond give its metallic shine because all the diamonds have a metallic shine or a facet naturally facet so that's what you're looking at piece of opal there is opal and amethyst that i have added from another source the opal and amethyst isn't from the crater of diamonds piece of opal it's just something that i've added to make it fun to make it more fun pay dirt is not an investment Pay dirt is simply for fun. That's what pay dirts are. If it's gold, rubies, sapphire, diamonds, it's mainly for fun. But I'm trying to make this as real as possible by not doing this final step with my material. I want my Patreon supporters and eBay supporters. And if I offer a bag to my YouTubes on a giveaway, you're going to be experiencing unsearched diamond ore. I have over a hundred reviews on my eBay over 300 bags have sold since I've started doing this about five years ago there was a man in Dallas that would buy these bags every week from me anytime I get back from the crater of diamonds he would clean me out that was before I started a YouTube channel now I want to give everybody the experience that isn't allowed to get to the crater of diamonds so you can get your own bag There'll be a link in the description below. You just click on that. Oh yeah, look at that amethyst popping up. Lots of goodies. I've had several reviews of people saying that they have found diamonds in these same bags. And I believe it because I'm not searching through the material. I'm not doing this final step right here. This is the final step we do to get the small diamonds. Those smaller diamonds do not appear on your center. They could be there. You got to find them. 
I'm not going to sit there and look for a two point diamond. I'm just not going to do it. I've done that, been there, done that. I'm looking for quarter carat diamonds and bigger. So remember, the, there's several steps working this material. First, you have to go put it in your bucket from out in the field. Then you'll run it through your classifiers. Then you use your gemstone concentrator, the round screen that concentrates all your heavy minerals. And when you make the flip, you're not over. You now have to scoop up all your centers, throw them in a bucket, and then take all this material and spread it out on a pizza pan and look at every single rock one by one. And that's something I don't do anymore. I leave that up to my eBay supporters, my Patreon supporters. I don't want to have a bad reputation of me scamming people. And like I said, this is pay dirt. It's not an investment. It's for fun. Let's take a look at some of the crystals I'll be adding to my upcoming pay dirt and to Patreon supporters and their monthly goodie bags. Each bag comes with a uncirculated Arkansas quarter. And when I have the material in stock, I always add other gems. Here we have obsidians, Apache tears from Ruby Mountain, Colorado. And you'll be getting those as well in your pay dirt. Here in the future, I'll be adding peridot and moonstones, hopefully, maybe some Amazonites. Here is a crystal basket from Ron Coleman Mining. You can pick one of these up when you visit Ron Coleman's if they have them in stock. And they will deliver these to your front door. Just get on their website, get your crystal basket ordered today. All right, we're gonna go over this crystal basket. These crystals will be added to the pay dirt on eBay and my Patreons will also receive these crystals and that's where every one of these crystals quartz crystals will be going to is ebay pay dirt and my patreon supporters because if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't even be able to make videos or buy these baskets and add amazing crystals what in the heck is that There he goes. Okay, he's finished. So, there's a nice crystal. This basket is loaded with crystals. Look at that self-healed, fully self-healed. Amazing piece right there. Man, so cool. Got some mats, rubber mats down to help put the crystals on. I mean, these crystals have amazing clarity. I bought this basket because it's got more of a peanut butter look to it versus the red clay. Normally when you get your crystals out of that actual peanut butter, they can be really clear. And that's what we'd like to see are the water clear crystals. But not everybody wants water clear crystals. Milky crystals are more of a feminine attraction. I've met a lot of women at Ron Coleman's and they prefer the milky crystals versus the water clear crystals. I think only guys are mainly after the water clear crystals just because they act like they're worth more money. It all depends on the formation. Are there any chips? You can have a milky crystal and it can be worth just as much as a clear crystal. That's a nice crystal there. Ooh, look at that one. And we will get these rinsed off. They've got a lot of mud. That's going to be water clear. Yes, that's so awesome. There's all kinds of crystals in this. In this. Look at all these crystals. This is my third Ron Coleman basket to ever purchase. I go up to Ron Coleman's quite a bit and let's just say that i don't always have good days up at ron coleman sometimes the material 
isn't producing nice crystals so I'll be forced to buy these baskets that way I've got crystals to add to my pay dirt and my patreons I want to send good quality crystal points to my supporters wow that's a nice one right there I mean they're just one after another guys one after another so these are some of the crystals you can expect oh my gosh look at that big crystal that's going to go to one of my patreons or this would definitely be going into my unsearched diamond ore with the huge crystals i have two listings on ebay one listing you receive large crystals bigger than this one and better and then the other listing you'll receive smaller crystals like these And the diamond ore is a little bit heavier in the other. Wow, some nice crystals. Look at that. Incredible. Just look at that one. Check those out. Going on eBay. Let's see what's on the bottom. I mean, it's just one after another. There's just crystals after crystal wow look at that one wow wow that's nice that's a nice one these are going to be water clear you better jump on these bags of pay dirt they go quick oh my gosh look at this one oh my gosh there's something huge in here wow look at that whoa a huge crystal oh, amazing it's probably self-healed yep self-healed beautiful Woo! look at that one Oh my gosh, look at that one. Woo, wow. Let me get this mud rinsed off. They're going to look amazing. Every one of these crystals will be going to my Patreon or eBay bags. And I've got some huge giveaways going on on my Patreon thousands of dollars in value pay dirt gemstones fossils coins you name it you're gonna be able to win it i mean this stuff is this there's some big ones down here nothing there really every single thing you see in here is a crystal it's a good one Wow, look at that one. Whew, that's awesome. Man. There's something here. Oh, that's a big something. Wow, whatever this one is, it's all the way at the bottom. Oh my gosh, it's a huge cluster. This might be a giveaway for YouTube. Woo! Oh, look at that cluster full of crystal points oh my gosh you know if we can get this video up to 2,000 likes I will give this cluster away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment let's get this to 2,000 likes this thing is amazing I'll even throw in a bag of unsearched diamond ore from the crater of diamonds sit it over here there's something there's something big down there oh my gosh wow Woo! look at that oh cup holder that's eh, a little small for a cup holder but not it's about that size oh my gosh if we can get this video to 2,000 likes I will give this one 
and that cluster away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment Whew. wow oh man that is awesome just crystal all in this stuff there's another big something Ooh, look at that one tons of more crystals in here I might have to go through all this and get all the mud rinsed off I just wanted to give you an idea of what type of crystals I add to my pay dirt and now you know crystals like these Now you have a full idea of what it takes to get all the diamonds pulled out of the material. You have to do the final step that's going over all your material one by one on the tray. And that's something I don't do anymore. I'm going to leave that up for you. So get your bag today and happy hunting. And this tub is what holds all my material. I will dump buckets in here, let it dry out fully, scoop it up, bag it up. I don't know who's getting what. Here's the opal. There's the opals that I add. Here's the amethyst that I add. And sometimes these trays are full of little tiny crystals, about a quarter inch to half inch. And I'll add a couple of those into the gravel along with several crystals like this here's all the crystals cleaned that was left in the bucket there's just some amazing pieces in here look at that water clear looks like i'll be getting my small containers filled back up with the half inch and smaller size crystals to put my pay dirt there's a nice small crystal I love these small ones I mean it's, it's just so many crystals look at all those crystals wow And these are just the crystals that were in the basket. I removed several that we've seen. And well, if you want to see what those look like, you're going to have to get a bag of pay dirt or become a Patreon. Here's the cluster cleaned. That turned out to be amazing. And here's the large point. These two will belong to one lucky subscriber. Leave a comment. And let's share this video out once it reaches 2,000 likes I'll announce the winner on my YouTube community tab Facebook page Instagram